Hi, my name is Nina Camplin and I am the online arts facilitator for the EVC Gallery. Today I'm going to look at doing a robin in pastels. What makes pastels different is that they are a dry medium. They are actually a solid piece of pigment that's held together with a binder. And um, because it's a powder, you need to use a surface to work on that's got um, a, what they call a tooth. So it needs something that's going to collect the powder inside it. So if you work on just plain paper, um, print paper or something, it's not going to stick very well. So you want to use something like um, specialist past pastel paper is probably the best. Um, I'm using watercolour paper, textured watercolour paper, so that's fine. I mean, you can even use uh, sandpaper and do it on sandpaper. So I'm going to just flip the camera. So to start with, I've just drawn out a rough guide for where I'm going to put my robin. And I'm going to start off with the background. So I'm going to put in a, a blue sky. Let's try this. It's always worth having because the pastels, um, when you store them, they all tend to rub off on each other. So it's quite difficult to see the colours. So it's worth often having a scrap of paper next to you to test them on. So I'm just doing blue. And as you can see, pastel is sticking to the raised parts of the paper. And hold that a bit closer. You can see it's sticking to the raised parts of the paper and it's not going into the pockets. So what I tend to do is I will use my finger to push it in. So it's just, I'm just pushing it right into all the crevices in the paper. It's getting much better coverage. Take this down into a lemon yellow. I'm going to knock that back with some white. You can see by the white of the pastel, it's actually whiter than the paper. I'm just going to put in a, a lilac shadow beneath the robin. Put some blue in that as well. I just want this graduation to be a bit softer. Better? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some base colours down on the robin. So to start with, let's go for... Let's put some blue underneath him. just want to try and get rid of the white of the paper, really. Um, let's get a brown for his wings. Oops, that's a black, dark brown. Again, I'm going to smudge this in. Just to try and kill the white of the paper as much as I can. Red. A little bit of yellow under his stomach. So I've got all the base colours down now, similar to how I would if I was painting it. Next I can start working in with um, light and dark shading and so I'm going to start on the brown. We've got really dark around just to define the, this back edge of him. So up till now I've been using my pastels flat so that they cover a larger area but now I'm using the, the, the corners of this to get a bit more detail in. We've got some dark shading on this side as well. And the beak's quite dark underneath. And the eye too, let's get the eye in. I'm going to put some orange into this. So some lighter shades in the brown. And there's a real highlight, it's almost yellow on this breast here. Some yellow bits in the brown too. And there's also a yellow bit on the beak, just there. At this point, it's a good idea to give yourself a scrap of paper to lean your hand on so that you're not smudging where you've worked. Really just working the detail up now. I want this really dark under the tail. 
dark shading to the leg there as well. feet in. Dark blue. Just using this to build the darks up a bit more. That's the winter robin. Biggest problem I have with pastels is they are a bit messy and I usually end up with it all over my face as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this little demonstration. And um, if you do do any yourself, any uh, pastel drawings, robins, whatever, please do put them on our Facebook page because we'd love to see them. And I will see you again next week. Bye. <laughs>